Recent years have made our hospitality industry mindful of just how fragile tourism can be. After lockdown forced her business to close, one entrepreneur has bounced back ingeniously. My name is Amy Kropman. And I, my name is Tal, and welcome to Camp Canoe. Camp Canoe is situated in the Cape Winelands. It's new take on luxury glamping on the foothills of the Simmonsburg Mountain. The idea of Camp Canoe was born as we came out to stay on Boschendal Farm during COVID. We loved this experience of our kids and us growing up on a farm so much, we decided we needed to stay and decided we needed to create a space for people to enjoy here. At Camp Canoe we're offering a beautiful place with a dam that you can canoe on and hammocks that you can just lie and read a book. We've got a lot of trolls and bike tracks to go on and disconnect from everything. The couple believe that wine farms like the one their camp sits on should be more accessible to our local travellers. We have been involved in hospitality for a very long time. When Tal and I met in India, we were almost travelling around collecting ideas of how to make the perfect establishment. Came home, started the Big Backpackers, which was one of Cape Town's first fancy boutique backpackers, trying to kind of figure out what travellers want, providing that space for them, and then carried it on to Camp Canoe. They were after an offbeat visual style like film director Wes Anderson has created in films from the Royal Tenenbaums to the Life Aquatic. There is no secret what we were going for. We are stepping into Wes Anderson's movie set playground backyard and we've tried to bring that through in every design detail and we felt that we've created a quirky and luxurious experience at once. The couple found their ideal designers in Megan Bond and Rotem Shahar, whose work is as story-driven as that of any feature film set designer. We are Mr. M is for Megan and R is for Tim, and we're a design studio based in Cape Town. So we knew Amy personally and Amy was aware of the work we do. She knew that we like to get involved with the branding of a place and that means getting involved with the naming and forming a bigger story around something. So when she knew she wanted to make these tented camp but she wanted it to have a bigger story, she approached us and basically said well let's create a camp, what are we going to do? And it was pretty much an open brief from there. The meticulous styling is never at the expense of simple pleasures. A case in point, each tent boasts a deck with its own wood-fired hot tub. Our strength lies in concept. Uh, we find concept is key to everything we do. It leads our direction and the brand and from name generation throughout creating the story. So I think when we saw the tents and you see these seven tents and the first feeling is like, ugh, like very militant. And then the next thing was like, but you know what's kind of cool is Scouts. Almost impossible to start thinking of the world of Scout without a nod to Wes Anderson and Moonrise Kingdom. So a lot of the Scout elements and Scout language developed from really looking at the tent and wanting to cover it with scalp badges. We had two different color schemes going on here. So the one tent is very much your pinks, your reds, light blues. And the other scheme went, we went a little bit more olive green with a punch of yellow, mustard. But yeah, two very different schemes with a Wes twist. For all the worlds which Mr. Anderson creates in his movies, he never had the wild drama of the Simonsburg mountains and bush as a setting. You don't expect to walk into a tent and for the materiality of the tent material to be so changed or so surprisingly not a tent inside. It's quite playful, but it still comes across with luxury and comfort. It's almost like a compact little tiny home. It's got everything going for it. Growing up in a small town in Northwest, Amy's family always brought people into their home and she continues their legacy. House Canoe is our hub tent. It's at the heart of Camp Canoe. We use it for coming together. So generally, if you book out the tents 
as a group, you would use House Canoe to come together and be communal. We also use House Canoe for events and eventing and different types of spaces. We've used it for retreats, corporate retreats or yoga retreats, but in essence, it's the heart and the hub of Camp Canoe. Tonight is the launch of our dinner club. So we're hosting a beautiful dinner with a still camping kind of theme behind it. So it's camping food with grandeur. And so we're hosting people from the area or people who've come to stay over. And we're just gonna come together and eat delicious food around a campfire. Preparing the three course menu over a campfire was a challenge which creative chef Johnny Haman rose to with a smile. So for tonight's event, so it was quite a struggle when I, um, Amy first contacted me, like, what do I actually cook? And then I thought, why, why don't I just do camping food with a little twist? Um, and then what do you, you know, what do you do for camping food? The first thing that comes to mind is cowboy food, you know, baked beans and tins. So we're doing a modern version of tin food. Most beautiful, there's anything from calamari to mussels, beautifully smoked in tins. That they normally serve just with freshly chopped parsley and the most exquisite sourdough bread from the winelands. And that's just followed by proper braai flace and oopsies and scalp starkies prepared on the fire. And then we're just gonna do s'mores, but we're doing gourmet style. So we made our own marshmallows and everybody's gonna have their own little braai, a Japanese kabashi braai on the table. And we're gonna wrap the braai with um, the Kumbaya songs, lyrics, right? <laughs> and then they can grill their own marshmallows and make their own s'mores at the table. And that's about it. It was a full house as bookings were snapped up by locals keen to put their winter hibernation firmly behind them. It sort of popped up on Instagram and I looked at it and I thought, this is too good to be true. And here it is and it's absolutely amazing. I love the decor and everything and we came for a quick dinner but now we're staying over and it's fantastic. It is so festive. <laughs> I can't get over how everybody is just connecting. They're just talking and talking as if, you know, they've just sort of known each other forever. It's quite amazing to me. So it's a brilliant atmosphere, I must say. The food's been amazing. I think the chef wanted to keep it a camping theme. It's properly delicious. The whole thing is delicious. Absolutely everything he's done has been unique, innovative and fabulous. It's so remote and you're so entrenched in nature and you feel you're just away from everything. So it's an escape from typical day-to-day -day life. I was lucky enough to be here when they were about to open and I brought my kids and then had a night away with my wife. And then I host retreats here as well. So we do some incredible work with people. It just lends itself to perspective and getting away and just a breath of fresh air. I think tonight has actually been electric. People have responded so amazingly. The food has been delicious. The entertainment, it's, it's been amazing. Yeah, a great vibe. I see everybody's very happy and just make me happy. I think we'd love to host more occasions like this. We'd like to come together and see our little camp grow from strength to strength, actually. Amy and Tull have seen their business reborn through a focus on local tourism and everybody is winning in the deal. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.